Hey guys, hope you're keeping well. I'm back again with another video and a little different background. Let me know if it works or not. Today is a, one of my favorite videos to, uh, to watch myself and I thought that for the I would do one. It is my April favorites, what I've been currently loving this past month. I just love watching these videos and thought I would make my own. Thumbs up if you do like it as well. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, I can st start off with a couple of skincare the favorites that I've been loving this month. Uh, one has to be my Vaseline Lip Therapy. As you guys saw, I bought it in my, in, in my London haul. And yeah, this has just been saving my lips all month. Uh, as I told you in that video, it's very hard to come across these mini lip balms here in Dubai. I don't know why. Uh, if you're in Dubai and you've seen them, please do let me know. It's been a real lip saver this month. And then, the two other skincare favorites is from the company The Ordinary. I did a foundation review from their foundation. I can link that down below for you guys. What I've been loving is their uh, caffeine solution. It's for under the eyes. Both me and my husband are big fans of this. It really just de-puffs and immediately kind of makes you look awake. Uh, and it comes as most of the products with this little drop. What's it called? Drop? I don't know. It comes anyway with this, which you just press and the product comes out. So I put this every morning and every night before, well, as soon as I wake up or when I go to sleep. My husband uses it every morning. The other one is the rose hip seed oil. Is it? Yeah. 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. I use this almost every night, at least every other night, uh, and sometimes more. I just put a few drops on my face and blend it all in as much as I can before I go to bed. And then let it do its job overnight. And then when I wake up, I just immediately feel like my skin looks more brighter and uh, moisturized. If I'm not mistaken, this is supposed to, you know, help with uh, hyperpigmentation. Uh, and I really do feel I see a difference, especially around my mouth area. I'm not using much around my eyes. I do know, I can't remember now specifically what they say about putting around the eyes, but I really want to try because I really feel a massive difference around my mouth. As well as I just feel like it keeps my face hydrated throughout the day because it just sinks in throughout the night. And yeah, I would really, really recommend this. I do sometimes even put this in my hair on the ends. Uh, after it's like, I let it dry for a couple of minutes. I never blow dry my hair. So after it becomes like towel dry, I just put it in my ends and let, let it do its thing for hydration there. Those were some of my skincare favorites. So to over to some makeup favorites. I have quite a bit to share. Uh, let's start off with couple of things that I really like I I don't do my makeup without this it's always every time regardless one is the Bobbi Brown corrector and what do I have in dark bisque I put it under my eyes and a little on my upper lip because still I have some like pigmentation there's a little darker there and under my eyes where I have my dark circles I put it all over just on the inside here on both and it immediately just cancels all the darkness. This is a holy grail for me. And then for concealing, these two. You might have seen, seen it in my travel makeup bag as well. Um, I think I'm like almost out of this if not mistaken. It's the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer and the Photo Focus, uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. As I mentioned in that video as well, I use both in combination under my eyes because this one in caramel is the perfect like skin color so I can use it to spot conceal uh, and then I add this one for a bit of brightness because I couldn't find this one in my shade, my perfect under eye shade. So it's a little bit too pale for me but together they just make the perfect mix. Let me go to my favorite eyeshadow palette that I've been really loving as well. It's from NARS. Nars, it's their Narcissus Loaded Palette. Uh, it was with me, I was uh, traveling 
during March, most part of March, I was uh, traveling quite a bit. So this one was with me and I have just kind of been using it almost every time I do my makeup ever since. Let me try and show you guys what the inside looks like. So this is what it looks like. It is, has the perfect spectrum of neutrals. Now I'm a neutral girl and it has how many shimmers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven shimmers and five mattes. Now what I really love about this palette is the fact that it has some cool tones and some warm tones as well as it has a dark brown for the crease. I actually, for the most part, unless I'm going really heavy on my eyes, I always use a dark brown to deepen the crease area and make the, pull the whole eye look together kind of. So it's always a must have. If I don't have it in the palette I'm taking with me, with travel, I have to carry one separately. Uh, yeah, it just, it has all the perfect shades for me. I struggle with that because when I find palettes, eyeshadow palettes, either they have too many light colors or they're too many brights or, you know, even a neutral palette, it's more catered towards, paler, uh, catered towards paler skin tone. While this one I just feel is perfect and they just blend out so easily. The shimmers really show up as well uh, and it has a gold shimmer. I love to use that if it's like a glam night kind of. So yeah, this one has been my go-to palette this whole ma month and the last month. I love wearing nude colors whether it's eyeshadow or lip, uh, lipstick or whatnot. It's It has been my go-to look lately. I love a bit of bit of color, pop of color every now and then, but for the most part, I really be loving staying neutral, but glammed up, if that makes sense. So for the lip color, it's my Holy Grail nude lipstick, it's from MAC, and it's the Cream Sheen Lipstick in Cream In Your Coffee. This is my go-to nude color on a day-to-day -day basis, because it just, I can just slap it on, no worry, don't need to worry about lip liner or anything, as well as it has a tiny hint of like pink mauve undertone so it just looks perfect on me and it's no stress no fuss put it on up the door I'm done so that's been my favorite lip color for this month and generally it's it's a staple another kind of staple actually I would have to say it's a no-brainer for most it's cut it's a cult favorite it's the Laura Mercier translucent powder and it's nothing special, just the box with the loose powder. But the way it just melts into my skin and kind of mattifies the look without it looking flat on matte, I hope that makes sense. It's like your skin melts better. And it, it goes with any foundation, any concealer. No, it's, it's a must have. And I use it every time I wear my makeup. It's my go-to powder. I have tried their pressed version and it's not the same. I do take that with me for travel because I, I can't stand traveling with this. I just feel it gets so messy, the powder gets all over and yeah, so I do take the pressed one but it's not my favorite. This one though, they're completely different formulas. If anyone has a pressed translucent powder that works with my skin tone, please do let me know. I would love to try. I'm on a hunt for that. But for loose powder, day-to-day -day basis, this is the one. And along the lines of face products, this has been my go-to contour uh, shade. Uh, now I know many people for some reason don't like cream contouring. I do. It's my go-to method rather than powder. It's the MAC Richly Honey Pro Sculpting Cream and it's really actually quite dark. It blends out so easily, so perfectly. I have actually used this on a lot fairer skin tone as well. Uh, and it just blends out so easily. And maybe that's why I actually prefer cream contouring because this just works. It's a no fuss, no fail. And for bronzer, uh, or to warm up my skin complexion after putting foundation, I like to add a bit of warmth to my face. And I've actually been using this, the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. I used to use this all over my face, like if it was those 
running errands kind of days where I don't really want to do my full on makeup but I just want to look done and ready, if that makes sense. I've been using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural as kind of a bronzer. It's not as deep as you would like, you know, use a bronzer. It doesn't add much color, it just adds a bit of warmth because it's just that hint shade darker than my actual skin color. But it's not dark enough to be a bronzer or contour and it's not light enough to be my skin color. So yeah, I've been really loving using that on the sides of my face. And then on the opposite side of that, highlighter. Just recently actually I've been got, getting into a highlighter for the longest period, never got the fuss or buzz about it. But recently I have and I've been dying to try out quite a few products. But I feel like getting a full size highlighter, especially for someone who's trying, trying it out and getting a bit more familiar with it. Uh, it's a waste to get like a full size product, especially when I'm still like figuring out what highlighters might work. Uh, though I love doing my research beforehand. So I went, my first buy went for this, the very famous, highly spoken about Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in, obviously, Opal. Because that's what I had heard suits my skin color the most. It's like, it's a golden champagne, if that makes sense. And yeah, I've been really enjoying it. Really, really loving it. It's like, it's actually not as shimmery as I expected. In other words, this highlighter has been my go-to since I got it. Really, really am loving this. And for my go-to blush, it's actually an oldie but a goodie. Kind of discovered an old favorite here. It's from Dior. It's their Dior Skin New Tan Paradise Duo. Looks like this on the inside. Hopefully you can see. It has like two shades. One is like a uh, bright pinkish coral and the other one is like a bronzer. Obviously it would never work as a bronzer for me. So what I do is I just mix the two. I take a brush and I swirl it like all over. And then that becomes like perfect everyday color. Everyday cheek color for me. It's like one of those, it's like the products I've been loving all month. No fuss, no... I didn't think twice, worry about too heavy of a hand, too light of a hand, anything like that. It's just swirl it all in, put it on, and I'm done. And yeah, it's just, it's the kind of color, it's like, when I mix it, the color that kind of translates from that is a pinkish peach, if that makes sense. And it's not brighter, though it looks quite bright on the pan, neither of these are it's very too pigmented, they just come out the perfect amount. So it just adds that slight bit of color on your cheeks, but nothing too much or anything to worry about. So yeah, that's been, those have been all my uh, favorites of the month and a bit more as you can see. It's my first favorites video, so I hope you guys enjoy watching. And let me know if any, you have anything similar or anything different down below, would love to hear what yours are, if you have a video, if I know if you can do this on YouTube anymore, but if you can like leave it as a reply, and it used to be possible, do you guys remember that once upon a time, like many years ago, people used to like reply to videos, I don't know if that's possible anymore, hmm. but yeah, anyways, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed, and hit the thumbs up if you did, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one, bye!